One of the greatest obstacles to crafting health and wellness is identifying and controlling inflammation. It's at the core of all complex and chronic diseases, and it's the driving mechanism that underlies the most common symptoms that people like you struggle to overcome. Join us as we explore cutting-edge science and research to give you the information and tools you need to create the quality of life you want and deserve. And now, here is the host of Inflammation Nation, Dr. Stephen Noseworthy. Hey there, everybody. This is Steve Noseworthy. I am a doctor of chiropractic and a functional medicine specialist. I'm a seminar speaker and an adjunct professor with the Maryland University of Integrative Health. And since this is the first podcast in the Inflammation Nation series, I guess it's probably time that I introduce myself, tell you a little bit about my background and why you might want to listen to what I have to share and what I have to stay. In fact, probably the best thing I can do is, is tell you a little bit about my story, which essentially breaks down into three different stages or three different phases. Um, the first phase is, uh, I guess, going all the way back to my undergraduate. Uh, I actually did an undergraduate degree in Eastern Canada uh, in business and marketing. And uh, after I graduated, moved to Toronto, where I worked for a couple of ad agencies until I was inspired by a chiropractic student at the local chiropractic college in Toronto to change careers. Uh, in fact, that chiropractor solved a problem for me, or the chiropractic student solved the problem for me that three years of medical uh, intervention, including surgery for my shoulder, physical therapy, steroid injections, none of it actually helped until I started getting chiropractic care. And so I packed everything that I had, which wasn't much at the time, and I moved to St. Louis to go to school to become a chiropractor. And along the way, uh, I ac accumulated two more degrees. One is a bachelor's in human biology, and, and the second one was my doctor of chiropractic. And I graduated from Logan College of Chiropractic in 1985. Uh, two years after that, I moved to Florida. I joined a, a chiropractor who had a, a longstanding practice there in the Bradenton, Sarasota area. Um, and he was uh, diversifying. He wanted to become and develop a multidisciplinary clinic. And, and so uh, over a period of a couple of years, I kind of rose to the top in that organization. I became the clinical director of an integrative team that includes medical doctors, nurse practitioners, acupuncturists, physical therapists, other chiropractors. Uh, and I think along the way, we had a homeopath and some dietitians and nutritionists along the way as well. And uh, I was there for 10 years. Um, during that period of time, I also was awarded diplomate status, which is a postdoctoral degree in uh, clinical neurophysiology from the American Board of Chiropractic Neurology. Uh, but after about 10 years, I uh, kind of got tired of working in the group setting and decided in 2007 to go solo. And by the time I did that, we had grown to the point where we had eight different practitioners of all different kinds, uh, and about 30, just a little over 30 different staff members. And uh, not long after I left that and went solo, this is really where my career took a major turn that brought me to where I am today. Uh, I met uh, a group, an organization called Apex Energetics, which was and still is the foremost provider of postdoctoral functional medicine seminar training for doctors of all different types in the healthcare continuum. And uh, I met the, at the time, he was the, the chief researcher and, and speaker. Uh, his name is Detis Karazian, who's since gone on to write a couple of best-selling books about thyroid health and brain, privileged enough to have a couple of my case studies published in those things. You can find those on, on amazon.com. But nevertheless, it was my introduction to Dr. Karazian and Apex Energetics that introduced me to the world of functional medicine. In fact, I had absolutely no intention any time prior to that and ended up doing what I'm doing right now. In fact, I knew very little about nutritional medicine other than if you were a chiropractic patient, you should probably take some fish oil, maybe some glucosamine for, for your creaky, creaky painful joints. And that was about the extent of it, other than you know just simple, clean, healthy eating, that kind of stuff. But the bottom line is I, I went to um, my first seminar with Apex Energetics and it completely transformed my thought process to the point where I began to throw myself into studying and practicing functional medicine with everything I had. And quite literally within a year, that same organization that I had been learning from asked me to teach for them. And I have spent the last 14 years 
balancing my time between managing my own clients and my own practice, uh, which is entirely virtual and has been for several years now, um, and traveling and teaching across the United States where, you know, I have the privilege to say that I've actually had an influence on, on thousands of doctors from all around the world in teaching them the fundamental principles of functional medicine and using natural type medicine principles based on current science and research to help people with complex and chronic diseases, all of which have one thing in common, and that is inflammation, hence the inflammation nation. And that really kind of brings me to my holy cause and holy mission. As I was working on my own, um, I, I developed my own concepts of human health and wellness. Uh, and I started with what I call unique wellness. And uh, basically it was predicated on the idea that everybody is unique and our doctors should be treating us that way. Unfortunately, not just in the conventional medical system, but also in alternative medicine, people are uh, treated all the same. They have, kind of have one size fits all approaches um, to problems that might on the surface be common, but the causes could be different at the underlying root cause level. But, you know, the, the whole point is, is that uh, this idea that we're all biochemically unique and our doctors should be uh, recommending care and therapy and lifestyle changes and diet based on our uniqueness, that concept evolved into what is now my mission, what I now call my holy cause, and that is what I call autonomous health. And that idea is all based around helping people become relatively independent of a broken healthcare system so that they learn to go beyond the disease management mindset of their medical doctors and use natural approaches to regain the quality of life and health that they had started to or have started to, to fear that they have lost forever. And that brings me to the purpose of this podcast because when it comes to chronic health challenges where you have multiple symptoms coming from multiple systems, most of the people who suffer this way have inflammatory type disorders, in many of which uh, are autoimmune related. I might even go so far as to say as most are related to autoimmunity. And the ones that don't have autoimmune inflammatory disorders will eventually get those things if they don't stop and deal with the root cause of their inflammation and their immune dysregulation. And so what are you going to learn from this podcast? You know, everything related to inflammation, uh, inflammation and how it impacts health and wellness, how it impacts your future quality of life, and how it may explain how you got to where you are right now. We're going to be talking about general concepts. We're going to talk uh, in the context of specific challenges like autoimmunity. Hashimoto's hypothyroidism is probably the most common one. Um, we're going to talk diet and lifestyle strategies to impact, improve, and improve your immune system and your inflammatory load. We're going to, along the way, talk about nutritional supplements and how they impact not just inflammation itself, but the underlying mechanisms that drive it. And we're going to talk about uh, diagnostics. We're going to talk about testing. This is actually a pretty exciting time to be a clinician who's focused on immunology and the inflammatory cascade because there are some new technologies and new tests that we've been expecting for about 10 years that are finally available to us to help us crack the code, if you will, of some are more complex cases. But ultimately, we're going to be talking about your immune system because that, my friends, is at the core of any inflammatory process. Inflammation Nation is about immunology. It's about immune balance, control, competence, and resilience. And those are four concepts that will keep cropping up in the episodes that are yet to come. So my plan for this episode, or not this episode, sorry, the podcast, is to you know, publish on all the major outlets with Apple and with Spotify and Google Podcasts. You'll find me pretty much everywhere that you find anybody else. I'm going to try to keep my episodes relatively short in the 10 to 15 minute time frame. A little bit longer, we tend to lose focus a little bit less, and it's very difficult to, difficult to communicate uh, some of the things that we are going to have to, to talk about. But if you are suffering from complex chronic symptomatology, if you are in that state where you're frustrated by a lack of answers, lack of results, and you're starting to lose hope in thinking that your life is going to be like this for the rest of your life, then the good news is that there's probably some things that you can do that you're not going to hear about from your conventional 
medical doctors, but you're going to hear it here on the Inflammation Nation. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for listening to the Inflammation Nation. If you found this episode valuable, please rate, review, and subscribe to our podcast. Be the first to know when a new episode drops so that you can stay on top of your game. It also helps others like you find the answers they need. And why not head over to my main website, drnoseworthy.com, that's drnoseworthy.com, to explore my personalized functional medicine coaching programs, submit a question to the podcast, maybe take a quiz, or even reach out to me using the contact form that you can find there. We'll see you next time. Thank you.